more than just a community garden, our last group for today will share with us how their creative space is serving a number of education programs too. A big round of applause for our last presentation. Here is the Waitaki Community Gardens. Kia ora and good afternoon. I'm Helen Stead, councillor with the Waitaki District of Omaru. Whitestone country, beautiful buildings, penguins, and we grow things beautifully. And I am proud to introduce two women, wonderful women from Waitaki, um, Annie, immediately behind me, and Gloria. But before you hear them speak, I want to say two things. Thank you, Trust Power. It's marvellous. Everyone here, full of inspiration. It's been splendid. And the friendly folk of the far north will be back. And now, welcome to the Waitaki Community Gardens on your screens. <laughs> My name is Gloria Hurst, Chairperson of the Waitaki Community Gardens Trust here in Omaru. On behalf of the Annie, our extraordinary and beyond the call of duty style coordinator, and the hundreds of volunteers who have created this innovative project, I welcome you. A small group of people with not only the yearn to make a difference, but also the gift of knowing what can be achieved on the smell of an oily rag. I was asked to come along to the backyard and be involved in the community gardens here in Omaru and develop a um, quarter acre section to generate enough food to feed a family of five for the year through spring, summer, autumn, winter. This project is an example of an empowered community imbibed with big dreams and even bigger doing. Almost 20,000 hours of collective voluntary support has made this happen over a period of four years. Annie at the gardens is fantastic. Uh, when we do harvest things, she'll come to our, our vocational center and she'll help us cook things. What started as a small piece of land given to us by the Waitaki District Council is now a school without walls. Simply, the garden is a facilitator. The subjects change depending on the season, the day, and the needs of the student. Mother Nature sets the test. From seed to table teaches healthy food production and use. The tasks are simple, but if not done in sequence, the food doesn't get to the table. This is the uh, potting in the area where we uh, grow all these seeds, uh, plants and so forth, which is the heart of the gardens. And it all starts here from the seeds to the plants until they're all planted out in their gardens. This is an organic garden. There are no shortcuts or easy fix methods to ward off the challenges of nature. The tests are real, and each one of us, no matter our age, is both a student and a teacher. This makes the playing field even. Youth Town, we run after school workshops. Uh, this venue here again benefits us in providing us with a different classroom uh, for youth to learn. The three R's, respect for self, respect for others and respect for the environment are the only rules. These very basic values, once understood, become the soul food in our lunchbox for life program for young families. The gardens are a thriving physical and social environment which tick all the boxes for health and well-being. Basic life skills and values are transferred across age, culture and gender through mentoring in a creative and playful way. I got involved because I think uh, the Community Gardens here is a, a really smart project. It sort of connects with lots of different organisations, community organisations in the town. On a very practical level it's great to see you know, the diversity of it from cubs doing their gardening badge right through to the probation service. Annie has recently stretched out into our community with satellite gardens now growing outside Food Bank and the Waitaki Mental Health Buildings. Well, when we first came here it was just a paddock, a sheep paddock. And to look around now and see what it's become, it's amazing. Fun. Unbelievable. It's unique. Open. Absolutely amazing. Dynamic. It's a dynamic project. Never stands still. There's always something new and something different being worked out. 
that was fun, wasn't it? I'm Annie. I love gardening, nature, and working with people. I have the dream job. I am passionate about growing and harvesting. Nothing makes me happier than showing young families how to cook simple, economical meals in the backyard. It takes a team to create a community garden, and with the many hours of volunteers' assistance, donations, funding, and vision, we have established a resource centre for learning life skills. This is a new and fresh approach to youth education and self-development, and there are many stories. Local youth have grown and harvested produce from their gardens. They have learned how to cook soup, potatoes, omelettes, scones, trout, and even and rabbit, and even lentils, all outdoors, plus boiled the thermit to make herbal teas. We love our pizza days with families. A special needs boy came with his group and learned how to sing the vowels in the paddock. He remembered this three years later when he revisited the gardens. A creative man on community service was not at all keen to do too much until I suggested he may like to do a stone carving. The following week, he came back and said the gardens had inspired him, and he ordered half a tonne of stone, omaru stone, don't forget that, to carve in his backyard, completed four sculptures for the garden, and mentored other children. A young, fit, snazzy 17-year-old youth challenged one of our 79-year-olds to do some press-ups. Our elder did 25, and the young man did five. It certainly gave him food for thought. The Waitaki Community Gardens offer life skills along with vision, voice, imagination, inspiration, creativity, dedication, gratitude, friendship, and pride. Thank you. Thank you my interest in a community garden began 10 years ago in my own garden on a farm just out of Omaru. My background is education. I'm passionate about today's children, especially the rascals, the misunderstood kids and their families. I was puzzled. Why did so many of our young people appear lost and what could I do about it? I bought a dictaphone and took to the streets. The answers were simple. Kids' batteries were flat, they needed more hands-on participation, more space and more time to play. We opened our home and garden for children and their families to come and play and stay. Five years on, a team gathered and the Waitaki Community Gardens were born. Just like most of your projects, elders are our currency. To finish the day, I offer a challenge. Imagine if every citizen between the ages of 65 and 75 in order to earn their superannuation, donated four hours per week to a project like yours, or yours, or ours, what could we achieve? Let's plant the seed. Let's plant the seed. Thank you.